Seating over 92,000 fans, Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge is one of the biggest venues in college football. And now the coin talk, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Looks to his receiver, first down. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found it. From the 48-yard line, first down. They'll work the left side. Nice run to the left there. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From the 43 yard line, third down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he shoved out of bounds at the 20-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. at the 17-yard line. The 10. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. And he hits the PAT. A six play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 7 0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Caught with room to work. Tackle made at the 32. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Let's go. Wait, huh? Strike to his receiver, no good. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. 
Runs it and tackled in the backfield. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Thomas awaiting the return. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Thomas takes it to 25, so he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Tries to get around the corner, and they push him out around the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, first down. LSU is up seven. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. He's scrambling. Brought down around the 35-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help this team. It's first down. They'll bring him down at about the 37-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That brings up second and 13. yard line first down Rose complete touchdown he makes the PAT a six-play, 69-yard drive, and the result, seven points. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. So our score, 14-0, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Allen fields at the goal line. Tackle at the 25-yard line. The Tigers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Second, and five. Second down and five. Ball on their own 31. And he tackles him hard at the 33. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd and this stadium. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. From their own 38-yard line. First down. 
under heavy pressure. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. That brings him second and five. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And down he goes at about the 49. That makes it first and 10. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. the tailback and it's difficult to run on this defense when they put this kid up in the box so we're looking at another third down here the crowd of this stadium always a factor in a football game open man quick strike and he can't pull it in Team's got to give their kicker some time. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. LSU's got a great offensive game plan in this one. Well, they are off to a great start. And sometimes you lose your focus when you start this fast. I think a challenge for them is just to maintain what they've done up to this point and keep their foot on the accelerator. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Going deep. And it's caught. And he is drilled at the 29. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Makes it to the 17. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something on it. He's scrambling. Quick strike to the receiver. That's a great tackle at the six. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. That brings, that brings up second, second goal. goal. The offense took an errant shot into the end zone, and I'll tell you what, that one should have been picked off. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to hear all about that from his teammates when he comes over to the sidelines. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A six play, 79 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. LSU gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Oh, man, did he take a hit! 
Well, the Tigers really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. White awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. The Tigers are parlaying some of those big plays into the lead here in the first. Well, it's nice to see explosion plays for this offense. They've done a really good job of executing, finding some of the one-on-one -on -one opportunities and taking advantage of them. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from this quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. From the 46-yard line, second down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He airs it out. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Jackson, left side, and they'll get him in the backfield. From the 10 yard line, it's second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They come out in a five wide set. Wants to throw outside, and it falls incomplete. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Todd, ready to kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. LSU's defense is playing lights out right now, pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's tackled right around the 30. And that's it for the first quarter, and it's been all one-sided. 24 to nothing, LSU. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Set. Five 
his receiver, and that's a first down. Recovered by the offense. Tackle around the 49-yard line. And they're very lucky to have that ball back. This receiver needs to put two hands on the ball. He's carrying that thing around like he's trying to give it away. First and 10, ball on the 49. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Here we go! Great time. Come on. Pass. Pass. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. And he hits him hard at the 47. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He makes it to the 28-yard line. strike and he drops it. Lacey was the intended receiver on that pass. That's going to bring up fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. And they're coming after this punter. Heading for the corner. Barber fields at the 30. He's tackled at the 43. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down right around the 44-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the way. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and two. Looks to him again, complete. And they make the stop at the 22-yard line. First and ten. From the 22-yard line, first down. Here we go. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. They hit him 
in the backfield. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. They're about four yards away here on third down. Up in the pocket and sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up. And he splits the uprights. Texas A&M to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The Tigers looked almost unstoppable in that first quarter. And Herbie, since then, it's not so much that way. Yeah, they've been sluggish here in recent uh, series. But I think it's important. They still have the lead. This is where some leadership needs to assert itself. And somebody needs to make a play to flip that switch to get this offense going again. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there. And down he went. Second and 13. Ball on the 19. He's taken down around the 17-yard line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Taken down in the backfield. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. Todd is waiting for the snap. And down he goes at the 48. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 49. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. Ready. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. They couldn't get anything to work down. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. Thomas will be the return man. Oh, excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. At about 
about the 41. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. That's a loss of four yards. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From their own 37-yard line, it's third down. He fights forward to about the 39. Texas A&M is going to use their first time out of the half here. Williams gains only two yards there on the delay. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Here's a quick throw. The senior makes the catch. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's on the run. Puts on a move. Touchdown. He had the wherewithal to see the open space in front of him, and he just kept on zooming until he hit pay dirt. And he adds the extra point. Texas A&M kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. The Tigers are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. So we're just about ready to return to action. Steps out of bounds at the 32. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. And he's tackled right away. He lets it go. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. The 44 yard line. It's first down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And that one's incomplete. Gets it out in a hurry. Tackle made at the 
15. You know, I think that time, Brad, the defense tipped their hand with the blitz. You could really see the blitz was coming, and when an offense at this level knows that there's pressure coming, they can make the proper adjustments and then put those wide receivers in one-on-one -on -one opportunities against the defense. And when you blitz, you're really leaving yourself vulnerable to a big play against a, a good offense. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 70-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. LSU gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Texas A&M's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. And you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. And he's level at the 21 yard line. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. So that sack leaves them with some work to do. It's third down and 14. Here we go. Five, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Daniels gets three yards on the carry. LSU's out of timeout. White to punt. And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. 31-10, Tiger. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackled after a decent pickup. It's second down, five to go. 
Ball on their own 24. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. Love to watch quarterbacks on third down to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down, they get a new set of downs. Makes it out to about the 39. That's a game. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He scrambles, runs with it, and he's got room. Brought down right around the 36-yard line. And that one's going to drive the defensive coordinator absolutely crazy. This kid is so dangerous. Brad, you're exactly right. The defense has to be sitting there asking themselves, how are we going to stop this guy? From the 36-yard line, first down. He's on the run. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. What an incredible display of absolute speed. I'll tell you what, if you give this guy an inch of daylight, he's going to take it to the house before you can even blink. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. tackled at the 24-yard line. That makes it second, and ten. second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. He's going to air it long. Got him. Inside the 30. He's all the way. Touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. It had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds his receiver wide open for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 39. Here we go. They'll bring him down at the 40.
gets it. He's in space. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 49. That makes it first and 10. From the 49-yard line, first down. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Runs it right. Nice pickup. First down. Up the middle for a nice game. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's taken down at about the 29 yard line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. complete he's hit right away the defense didn't stop the pass but they stopped him short of the sticks and that's the important thing here allow him to make the catch but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down tackle for a loss and they'll turn it over on downs here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again as long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 28-yard line. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. He's at midfield. Tackle at the 47. the 47 yard line it's first down got a man in and out of his hands now he tries to buy some time he'll take it himself and down he goes at the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Come on. 
Makes it to the 12-yard line. run up the middle. From the seven yard line, second down. It's the tailback. Shows some moves and he's in. Took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. LSU lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Quick out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 30. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Short over the middle. And he is drilled at the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Scrambling around. Excellent open field tackle. From the 49-yard line, first down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. It's second and seven. Ball on the 47-yard line. Five wide. Caught out in the open. And he tackles him hard at the 37. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Now he's scrambling. Decides to slide. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made at the 19. And this is the eighth play of the drive. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. Not much of a contest here as we head into the final stanza. LSU's running away with it. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Nice 
Nice run, and he's brought down. Solid five-yard pickup there on the halfback option. We've got second and goal. Ball on the three. Touchdown, Aggies! I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and it allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time it worked to perfection. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Thomas fields it at the three. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He makes it to the 32-yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 32. Williams gets the ball. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Third down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. There's a play fake. He makes the catch and has a first down. Brought down at the 29. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. And a quick throw. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage. And then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Makes it out to about the 16. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. From the 16-yard line, second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. We're in play number nine of this current drive. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown.
That's his fourth touchdown pass of the game. All the hard work he puts in is finally paying off. It's been rewarded here today with some pretty good throws, leading to some remarkable touchdowns. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. To review, review the, the play, play, the ruling, ruling on, the on the field, field stands. stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. LSU comes to the line in complete control in this game. And he adds the extra point. Todd has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 22. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Quick throw, and he's tackled at the 31-yard line. Number 36 makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Pressured and brought down. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 26-yard line. Ready. Quick strike, and he drops it. It's a great series here for the defensive side. They know they've got the upper hand right now late in this game. White to punt. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. LSU up big right now in this one. And he's taken down at the 36. Quick to an open man, he dropped it. From the 36 yard line, second down. Here's the halfback. And they make the stop at the 33 yard line. That makes it 37. Slings it. Makes the grab and steps out right away.
First and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. He's taken down around the 20-yard line. bring him down at about the 19-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Solid stop there by the corner on that one. I'll tell you, I love to see a cornerback willing to step up and make tackles like that. Here's the eighth play of the series. LSU looking to build on this commanding lead here. And he's level at the 22-yard line. They'll call on the field goal unit here. This is to add to an already impressive lead. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Time has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. He's tackled at the 24. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Get out, get out, get out. Thomas is back deep to return. He makes it to the 45-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Tackle around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Just under two minutes in the game. Williams, the ball carrier. Nice run there. Williams picks up about four yards on the play. That'll make it 35. Well, 
tell the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds around the 21-yard line. Texas A&M's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his abilities to make plays. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.